don't know how climate change will affect you locally? The Climate Risk Dashboard can help you visualize future climate impacts around the globe, enabling you to better understand the climate future you'll face and to choose the right adaptation measures. Let's start by going to the Explore page and using the Future Impact. Here, you can explore how different levels of climate action will lead to different climate impacts. For example, let's ask, what will be the length of the fire season in Australia in the 21st century, depending on the future trajectory of global greenhouse gas emissions? First, let's select Australia. Then, let's select length of the fire season. Let's explore the scenario 2020 climate policies, which assumes that no more climate action is taken other than the policies that were in place in 2020. For comparison, let's also select the shifting pathway scenario from the list, which is compatible with the 1.5 degrees Celsius goal of the Paris Agreement. Here you can see a time series plot that shows how Australia's fire season would evolve out to 2100 with the range provided by the models. Below it, you can also see a map showing how the length of the fire season varies between the two scenarios in 2030, 2050 or 2100. Now we'll focus on the second user mode of the Climate Risk Dashboard and look at indicators for heat stress in 140 cities across the world. Select a city and indicator and then click Avoiding future impacts. This mode allows us to answer the question, what needs to happen so that we can avoid reaching undesirable impacts in my city? To understand current trends, look to the left-hand side of the page. Use the slider below to select a level of impact. Then, specify the maximum risk of crossing that level that you are willing to take. You could take a bet on the best estimate outcome, 50%, or take a more cautious approach and select a high risk threshold, 5%. The tool will then tell you what global warming will need to be limited to, as well as the years at which this level will be exceeded or avoided for the three main scenarios available in the dashboard. We hope that this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions or follow-up, you can find out more on the contact page.